Now, we have been experiencing fuel crises across uh, the country, and Wycliffe Okech has been our man in the county of Kisumu. He has been visiting various petrol stations to find out uh, the situation, and now we are crossing over live. Wycliffe, good afternoon. Paint for us the picture from wherever you are. Well, thank you so much, uh, Irene Mochumo back in Nairobi. Uh, we are uh, in Kisumu, actually, uh, now talking about the fuel crisis in the country. Today, uh, we, can, uh, we, can, we can report that there is, always, uh, there is a little bit of a difference uh, if you compare the situation uh, from yesterday or rather the, the, the past few days. Uh, since morning, we've been conducting a sports check across the, uh, the, the, the town and uh, just checking up on uh, the situation. And uh, the sports check has revealed that uh, some of the, uh, actually, many stations still lack that basic commodity. The fuel uh, while uh, those that have uh, the the uh, the, the or the, the fuel are experiencing a long queues uh, of, 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 of uh, vehicles, uh, motorcycles, and uh, uh, some uh, people have to come here with the, uh, the jerrycans uh, to fetch that commodity. And if my uh, my colleague Martin Kivuti here can basically pan around to show you uh, the long queues that are uh, uh, that are can be witnessed at this uh, fuel station at the moment. Here you can see that stretch of vehicles, both personal and uh, PSVs, uh, making their way in here as they try uh, to uh, fuel up or rather to uh, to boost their fuel consumption. Rather, and uh, if we, uh, the other side, as it pans, you can see that is the line of the motorcycles, uh, commonly known as Boda Boda, coming here just to uh, refuel, as well as those people that are also lining up with the jerrycans to fetch uh, that commodity. But Irene, we can report that now the situation is, uh, uh, is basically different from uh, yes, that of yesterday. And basically, just to print for us that picture here, I'm going to join uh, one of the riders here uh, briefly to tell us what the expectations are com in, the, in the coming few hours. Brother, how are you? Fine. Uh, my name is Eugene. Uh, I'm from Kisumu now. Nimetoka mbali more than 25 kilometers kuja kutafuta fuel in Kisumu. So at least leo imekuwa vizuri sana. Tumepata at least uh, mafuta imekuja kidogo kwa some of petrols. At least tumepata kidogo and end up fanya kazi. At least mimi mwenyewe ipiki imekaa kwa nyumba for more than 2 days. At least tumepata mafuta kidogo and end up kutumia leo na kesho. At least naomba serikali itusaidie kidogo na hiyo mafuta si wenyewe kama common mwananchi tunaumia sana. Na tupekine katika pekuwa pekuwa zetu zengine tumaweza kujua kwa mba karibu na uli meongezwa kidogo. How about the riders? Nini mefanya aje? Lazima tuongeza fair kidogo juu wezi beba customer na hile beya kawaide na ukuwa mekatikati. Yata kuambia tutafute pikipiki ngine unifikisha palipenye tukua tumesikilizana na wewe ndo wakupea fair at least sa hii fair imebidi mwongezwa. Mm. Okay. And uh, your expectations in the next few days? At least to mona uko chini kwa pipeline gari zimeja. At least to kwa na fuel. Yeah. Thank you so much, Irene. That is just one of the riders here uh, talking to us about uh, uh, his, his take on this uh, matter, on the uh, new development. But actually, what you've heard you mentioned that he had to travel about 25 kilometers to come to this station to fetch that uh, basic commodity, and is hopeful that in the next few days the situation will have improved. And uh, basically, Irene, we can uh, say that now, following the yesterday's move by the president to sign the appropriation uh, uh, budget bill that uh, released about 34.4 billion shillings uh, as part of the subsidy or rather to uh, in, in, in a move to curb the situation we are hopeful that the situation here actually in Kisumu and not just Kisumu alone but in the entire country will improve well this is a, a, a situation that continues to unfold in different ways and we'll be monitoring every situation actually and give prompt updates uh, uh, to our viewers back to you Irene in studio